What's going on YouTube? Chad's here with this gaming. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a nice modification on how to pretty much take your Xbox One headset over there and be able to plug it into your controller with that adapter and then plug it into your Turtle Beach headset. In this case, my X41's over there, you can see. Alright, so what you're going to need is I have some things laid out here but you will need a couple more things obviously you will have to cut the wire from this this uh, Xbox One headset pretty much wherever the wire is coming out which was right there just snip that you you don't need it I tried to take it apart to just see you know how it was wired and everything and I didn't have the necessary screwdrivers so I had to cut it so you can just cut it there and Obviously, this is going to destroy your Xbox One headset, so that's a warning to you guys. Don't do this if you don't feel you're capable. I'm honestly not a very good solderer, but this is very easy stuff. I know most of you guys out there are going to be able to do this, but I just have to throw that disclaimer out there. Alright, so, you can, obviously now you've got the, uh, the headset, you know, broken, <laughs> taken apart. And as you can see, when you cut the wires... It's going to look just like that, just a, f a flat black type stub. What you're going to want to do is apply just a, a little bit of heat to the end of the black. There we go. And what it's going to do, it's going to loosen this hard black casing. And then really how you go about taking this black casing off is up to you. I prefer to use a razor blade, but there are obviously risks associated with razor blades cutting yourself and besides cutting yourself you could also damage that copper wire in there but once you do that you're gonna have wires obviously <laughs> exposed and what you're gonna want to do is take some heat and apply the heat to the colored wires and what that's gonna do is it's gonna set the wires on fire and then you want them to burn. I'm going to see if I can put zoom in on this and show you. You can see just the tips are exposed. You really don't want to expose too much wire because then you might have shorting risks and things like that. So once it gets to the length that you desire, you pretty much just blow out the flame and then gently wipe off some of the soot with your fingers. So now from there, you're going to need some equipment. This is a 2.5 millimeter stereo plug 3 conductor. Let's see if I can show you there. This hole right there is the ground. And at this time, I'm going to have to experiment to see which side's which, but I'll let you guys know in the description or at the end of the video which side was which. And with these wires, we have white, black, copper, and blue black and copper are going to be your grounds so you're going to want to tie those together and then solder them to the ground location which is that hole right there grounds are usually in the middle or on the bottom things like that and then I believe your white is your mic live and your blue is your speaker live but I will have the official uh, things down in the description I don't want to try and say things off the top of my head and not be right. So really what we're going to be doing is we're going to be soldering the appropriate wires to the appropriate little terminals, terminals on this plug. And then we're going to hot glue the, uh, the soldering connections to give it a bit more uh, strength. So when you pull this wire, it's not going to pull the soldering joints loose. And then we're going to have a working turtle beach adapter for your xbox one before they come out which probably won't be till march so that's going to be into this segment i want to take you guys over to uh... the area where i'm going to be soldering and i'm going to show you what to do from there all right so here we are at the soldering station here in the kitchen and what we got going on right now is in this little soldering mount this helping hand here if you can see that those are our two ground cables the black and the copper. We're going to solder those to the ground which is the bottom hole and this should be the case on almost all of your two and a half millimeter connectors. 
I'm gonna solder that, and then I'll be right back to test the next two wires. Alright, I am back now, and as you can see, I have all the wires soldered, and I have the plug connected to my headset. I'm gonna try and zoom in here and show you guys the best that I can. The ground is located on the bottom. The left is microphone, which is white. The right is blue, which is speaker. Let me see if I can try and get a different angle just to show you a little easier. That's about the best this camera will do. There we go, that's pretty pretty sufficient. Uh, looks like there's no shorts. And just to show you that this works, as you can see on the TV, alright camera, connect microphone for chat is off. I'm in a party. And I'm going to talk into the mic. I'm going to point the camera at the screen. Uh, 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 uh. As you can see, it is picking up my voice just fine. And it is not using connect for chat. So all you really have left to do, and it's totally optional, is to try and hot glue some of these solder joints. And then put that sleeve on. And I really... It all depends on the type of sleeve and, you know, configuration you got or whatever. Um, the hot gluing for me, I'm going to have to put a very light amount because this sleeve is actually kind of a tight fit. But it works. That's pretty much it. hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Chaz of Witness Gaming. I am out. I'm going to provide some written directions in the description that this video didn't quite do the tutorial justice, you know, this is just more of for the people who are visual, you know, I'll put the text for people who like to read in the description. So, like I said, Chaz Witness Gaming, check out our other videos, subscribe, I'm out, peace.